Hello everybody, this is Gerald Snivy and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Blind. This is a second recording attempt and I will explain why in just a little while. But first, explanations. Because we always need more expedition. Anyways, there is something I need to discuss with you all. Some of you may not know this, but uh, I recently ran into a recording issue that prevented me from, let's say, continuing on with the game, and I had to start over from scratch. And some of you may notice that my Pokemon are of different genders. Most of them are. Most of them are female now, for some strange reason. Some of them have different personalities, and also different attributes. Another thing off screen, I leveled up my Pokemon team up to level 12 at the very least. Also during my journey back here to the same exact point once more, I caught a couple of new Pokemon. So let's go ahead and look at them right now. This is Ghastly, I caught it in uh, Sprout Tower during the evening hours of the Nintendo 3DS's time, or th Nintendo DS time, around 8pm is when uh, nocturnal Pokemon come out, such as Ghastly. Onyx, I got it during a trade, and it's nicknamed Rocky, by the way. I'll tell you who I traded it from in just a little bit. Mary, I caught it while I was uh, working on leveling up my Pokemon team. Zubat, again, it showed up during my trading session, and it came out during the evening hours. Same with Wooper. Wooper I also caught during the evening hours while training my Pokemon team. And finally, Ekans. So, you may notice a missing member, and that is the Shiny Rattata. Well, unfortunately, I was not able to re-encounter the Shiny Rattata during my journey back here. And when I ascended the Sprout Tower, I encountered nothing but Ghastlies all day, every day. Again, this is due to the fact that I decided to climb the tower at night. Not exactly the best idea. Alright, let's talk to you. Oh, he's doing fine. By the way, this is who I traded the Pokemon with. He traded me his Onyx for a Bellsprout, so I gave him a Bellsprout and he gave me his Onyx. End of story. So uh, anyways, traded Pokemon essentially earned double XP, but after a little while of training, and depending on how level they are, they will eventually stop obeying you until you get a certain gym badge. Or just gym badges that represent certain levels of maximum... I don't know how to explain it, but anyways... Between the Pokemart and uh, this gym here, there was a fat person sitting here staring at the water, so I talked to them, and it turns out that person is the teacher of this here school. And also, it has broken English. I say it because I don't know if it's a male, female, who really cares? Um, nah. I already know how to raise Pokemon well. Eh, that's okay. Uh, no. Yeah, I am a smart person. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. Sue me. Also, this person, I talked to him and he basically talked about uh, setting up groups. Due to the whole Nintendo Wi-Fi thing uh, being discontinued on the Nintendo DS and Wii games, I don't think groups are really all that useful. Maybe they are, I don't really know for sure, and besides, the instructions are incredibly complicated. But, that's enough explaining for right now. Let's go ahead and fight you once more, Faulkner! Bring it on! You damn right, boy! You may have struck me down, but I have become even more powerful than you can possibly imagine! Let's go, Faulkner. First up is Pidgey. Also, technically speaking, since this is my second playthrough of said game, I'm technically fighting Faulkner for the first time, so... 
What the frickin' do? I said at the very beginning of this video that this is the second recording attempt. Well, here is another explanation. Also, Pidgey is down and out. Good to know. Next up, Pidgeotto. That thing that murders my Pokemon in one hit KOs and just trolls with you all the frickin' time. More or less. But, uh... Anyways... Damn it, Hoot Hoot. Damn it! As I was trying to say... Potion. Yeah, here you go. Forgot to mention, too, I have more potions with me than uh, I did before. Reason is because I haven't really used any. Maybe I used one or two, I can't remember for sure, while trying to make my way back here. And that's that. Now, the reason why this is a second recording attempt is because when I tried to record this for a second time, the recording failed again. How exactly? Well, when I ended the recording session, the timer just hung. It just hung itself and uh, my recording program crashed. And thus the footage was lost again. However, I have learned my lesson from uh, the first time uh, I've tried to record videos and such of this game. And I can't believe I forgot to heal. Damn. Oh, well. Live and learn. Okay, who to send out next? How about Pidgey? So, uh, anyways, program crashed and the video recording was lost, so, uh, I was smart. I chose not to save, and that was, overall, it was a very good idea. Just due to the fact that I could actually start over the start the recording all over again. So here we go with attempt number two or three. Yeah, it's three. Attempt number three. Okay, Beedrill, come on up. Also, forgot to mention, Kakuna evolved into Beedrill and learned to do attack, Fury attack. What does it do? It can attack a Pokemon between two to five times. Youch. Will you go down already, you stupid Pidgeotto? Aw, oh, so close. Eh, of course. Roost. You had to use Roost, and you couldn't hit him anymore, huh? You really had to do that. You know, you suck. You really, really suck. I know oh too well what Roost does, and damn it, Beedrill, hit your target! Ow. Damn, come on! Are you kidding me? You know what, screw you, I'm gonna poison you. Or you can just kill me, jerk. I didn't do jack. Okay, here. Take a potion, buddy. You're gonna need it. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. There is one more thing I've forgotten to do, and that was to change the dang border. Oh, well. I'll change it later. I'll change it after the battle's done and over with. If I manage to survive first... I mean, really, come on! We're only a level behind. Is that really that big of an issue? Jeez. Out of all the attempts that, uh, I've done... No, 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 no. Out of all the times I fought Pidgeotto, first time I fought it, I was able to solo it with Hoot Hoot somehow and still win. Second time, half of my team was wiped out. This time, it looks like I'm going to be down to my last man. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Okay, come on. 
Oh, damn. You've got to be freaking kidding me. How the hell is this Pidgeotto still kicking my ass? Here. Come on, get up! Be a man! Man, I am so sick of fighting this damn Pidgeotto. You have no idea. Okay, seriously? Come on! Just drop down and accept your fate, goddammit! <sighs> Ratata, please finish him off. For the love of God, please do it! Oh, so close. Okay, hopefully I should be able to score one more attack. Please don't use Roost again. Thanks, freaking Lord! Oh my God! Sweet, merciful Jesus, it's finally over. Hulkner is down again. Well, again for me, but first time for you. Whatever, blech. Man, that was hell. You gave me a hell of a fight, buddy. But whatever, our reward is the Zephyr Badge. Thank God. With it, Pokemon, including trained Pokemon up to level 20, will obey me without question. Also enables me to use the move Rock Smash outside of battle anytime. Thank you. Thank you for TM51. Again. For me, first time for you. It contains Roost. What does Roost do? You've seen it in action. Why am I explaining it? I don't know. But well, whatever. We're done here. What the? Really? You calling me now? Hmm. Okay. I'll see if I can pick up the egg. Sure. No problem. But first... First things first, change border, and done. I keep forgetting to change the border in between recording sessions. I mean, there are 20 different borders for Pete's sake. Um, yeah, I'll take the egg. Or I can't. Well, dang it. So, yeah, the egg takes up one of your party slots. So... If you happen to have a full party of Pokemon, you're going to have to trade some Pokemon in, or at least one of them, in order to carry the egg with you. Uh, excuse me. Also, I apologize for my negative nature that I'm feeling today. To tell the truth, I'm just feeling incredibly annoyed just due to the fact that this is the third freaking time I have to do this. Okay, let's deposit a Pokemon and move on. I think I'm gonna go ahead and deposit the... Uh, deposit? Centreat? And... I'm gonna deposit Rattata. The reason is because... Not only am I gonna carry the egg with me, but I would also like to carry a new Pokemon with me too when I get the chance to actually use it. Also, what's down here? Um, okay. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. Hmm, Pokemon Wi-Fi Club. And it's a pal pad. What is this? Hmm. Um, understood. The reason I am not going to explain it any further is because I've beaten this horse dead to the freaking ground. Nintendo Wi-Fi doesn't work, so this is completely useless and pointless, at least right now. Unless Nintendo would uh, bring the servers back up online, which I don't see that happening, like, ever. Because Nintendo DS is an old console, what do you expect? Alright, thanks for the egg, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for having that much faith in me. 
Sure, I'll do my best. I'll do my best and take care of the egg. Oh, okay. Sweet! Super Potion! What does the Super Potion do? It heals more HP than a regular potion. How much more? By 30, I believe. So instead of healing 20, it heals 50 HP. Yep, 50 HP. How do I know this? Well, that's because I've played through part of this game already. So go me. <laughs> also, we have a couple of new items available. First is a repel. How does this work? You spray this on yourself and you can take up to 100 steps without having to encounter any wild Pokemon. This can be useful sometimes, but uh, for the most part, that use is more or less reserved for escape ropes. Escape ropes allow you to escape a dungeon or some place and return to the previously visited Pokemon set. This is also used for the Mew glitch back in Pokemon Red. It's one of the steps needed. So all in all, Rafael, I don't find that useful. Hell, I don't even use it at all. Just due to the fact that uh, I need my Pokemon to have all the experience they can get. Reason? Because I want them to be the very best like no one ever was. You know? You know? Fool? Yeah. You get the idea. Oh, really? Hmm. So it is. Hmm. Something about that woman rubs me the wrong way. And not in a good way whatsoever. <laughs> Cute. Cute Pidgey. What kind of a name do you get? Oh my god. <laughs> Dear Christ, that name is horrible. It's it's just really bad. Like one of the worst names I've ever heard next to oh goodness gracious. I mean seriously. It's a thing. It's real. Look it up. One of the worst names ever. But at least it's not as bad as cat or dog. No, seriously. Those are some really bad names. Okay. Yeah, thanks for praising my Pokemon, buddy. Oh, thank you for the Miracle Seed. As the old man described, this will increase the grass type Pokemon's power when it comes to their grass type moves. So, let's see. Uh, no, that's the. I'm in the wrong freaking menu. There we go. Miracle Seed. Go ahead and give this to Chikorita. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. And I really mean it when I say that, too. Oh, hey there, kid. How you doing? You want to fight? Well, bring it on. Alrighty. Two Pokemon. And the first step is a freaking Rattata. How original. Not. Sit down. Alright, Rattata is down and out. Next up is Zubat. We haven't seen a Zubat on camera. So, here we go. Zubat, there really isn't much to say about it other than the fact that it's there, it's a thing, and many people hate it and it infests caves like nobody's business. Ah, oh, great. Now who is confused? Here's how confusion works. Confusion, it does that sometimes. The effects of uh, Confusion, when it takes effect and takes hold of your Pokemon, the effect is sometimes your Pokemon will end up hitting themselves by mistake. And the percentage of hitting that, I'm going to guess off the top of my head, is roughly 60%. 
maybe higher, maybe around 70%. Even so, it's very annoying. And thankfully it doesn't, uh, thankfully it goes away after the battle is won. And you're able to get out of there. Yes, I am quite strong. Alright, I'm off to do some heals. As soon as I can get out of here. Have we seen them already? I don't think we have, but either way, I guess I'll go ahead and show it. Anyways, Ekans is a Generation 1 Snake Pokemon. It's also a Poison type. Maybe this considered a Poison type, but either way. Ekans, it's a snake. It does snake things, Ghost. Sorry, guys. Not interested. <laughs> so, leave a like if you got the reference. I'm off to heal. See y'all shortly.